It's time to do another restaurant tour, and this time I've asked you guys on Instagram for which four restaurants I should check out around Metro Detroit. And now we're gonna go to some of your selections. So uh, here one, Scott, Scott Man, and time to go get some food. So be sure not to watch this video on an empty stomach. So we are here at our first location. We're all at the far northern part of Metro Detroit. We are in Oxford, Michigan, along busy M24. Oxford is a very nice uh, community located here in the far northern part of Oakland County. A little fun fact, I'm standing by, uh, by the Oxford Cinema here and my older sister used to work here when she was younger. <laughs> How cool is that? So we're here at our first restaurant here in Oxford, and this is Golden Dragon. It is a really good Chinese restaurant located here in downtown Oxford. And a little fun fact, this is my older sister's favorite Chinese restaurant ever. She's gotten to carry out here many, many, many times. So it's gonna be really cool to go inside and get some delicious Chinese food. All right, so I gotta cross this busy road and let's head inside. Okay, so we're here inside and got a nice interior in here. It's very quiet here, so that's why I'm talking a little bit softer. <laughs> but yep, yeah, I wanted their egg rolls already and all off camera. It was, they were amazing. But a lot of great American Chinese classics here. Had to get their orange chicken though. This looks delicious. Also got a side of fried rice. Also got white rice too if you like. All right, so let's try some of their fried rice first. Looks nice and hot. Mm, nice flavor to have this, so it's pretty good. All right, so I'm gonna have some of the chicken. Lots of sauce to dip into. Mmm. Mmm. This is good. I really like the sauce in this. The sauce is nice and sweet. <laughs> Try one more bite. Mmm. It's warm too. <laughs> The sauce is very sweet, the chicken's cooked perfectly. There was lots of chicken in this too, so some of the best orange chicken I've ever had. That was absolutely delicious. That was amazingly de delicious orange chicken. It's like they cooked the chicken very well because it's probably one, it's one of the rare times where I've gotten orange chicken and it's not overwhelming with breading. There's a lot of chicken in that. So it's not like you have like a piece where it's like half chicken, half breading. Because yeah, that could be a put down in some of the other places I've been to, but Golden Dragon does a phenomenal job with how they make their orange chicken. I'm sure all their other stuff in there too has gotta be really good too. But yeah, one little note though is that, at least right now, it could change later, but they're only open for dining like from like four to like around 8.30 at night. Outside of those hours, they're pretty much takeout only. But even for takeout, Golden Dragon is a great option. So if you're looking for some amazingly delicious Chinese food, Golden Dragon here in Oxford is the place to go. And if you want a second opinion, just ask my older sister. She'll give you the same opinion. <laughs> She'll probably rave it even more than me because she loves that place so much. All right, so we're gonna check out another place. We're gonna go much closer into the heart of Metro Detroit next, so don't go anywhere. All right, so we're here at our second restaurant and 
there's another place which you guys have asked me to, to go to out of a choice of three different restaurants here in Macomb County. So this is the World's End Craft Burger Bar, located here in Roseville, Michigan, along 13 Mile Road, although we're technically closer to Frazier. Because if we were to cross the road, we'd be in Frazier. But yeah, so this restaurant is located between Hayes and Grossbeck Highway. And this place is famous for their burgers. They're supposed to have some really good burgers inside. Now that too, but it's also a bar too, to where it's like, it's like you got both the bar and a dining area. So especially on a on a game day like today with the Detroit Lions playing, it's a great spot to go for a drink, a burger, and a game. So let's head inside and get some delicious burgers. All right, so I'm inside and got a cool dining interior right here, and there's also the, the main bar over in the room over over that way too. Well, yeah, been excited to get one of their burgers here. So, got their purgatory burger, half pound burger, with um, some chipotle peanut butter, some delicious looking bacon, cheddar cheese, pretzel bun, and of course, good fries too. Mmm. A nice amount of salt with. It tastes very good, and of course, they're nice and crispy too. All right, but a main attraction. Ooh. Let's dig in. Mmm. This is very sweet and tasty. Eve is cooked to perfection too. These are delicious. They're it's messy though. <laughs> well, I gotta say, the burgers are amazing here. Right, I'll, I'll see you back outside. That burger was absolutely delicious. It cooked very well. Really liked the bacon too. You can tell it had a really good quality bacon piled on that burger and that peanut butter chipotle sauce. Mmm, that was very sweet and tasty. But if you're looking for a great burger, definitely check out the World's End Craft Burger Bar. So uh, uh, thank you guys very much for picking this restaurant. Let me make sure I'm not in anybody's way here. Anyway, so but as I was saying earlier, it's like, yeah, yeah, make sure to follow my Instagram because I occasionally post Instagram stories where I might ask you some questions which might contribute to some of these videos. All right, so let's go to two more restaurants which you guys have selected for this restaurant tour. So let's do that now. and we are here in Livonia, Michigan to cover our third restaurant in this You Pick restaurant tour. So this is another restaurant that I had you guys pick out of three here in Western Wayne County here at Luigi's Trattoria Pizzeria. It is a great Italian restaurant located here in Livonia that serves a lot of great pizza, Italian food, pasta, you name it. I haven't had a really good pasta dish in a long time, so I'm gonna go inside and get some delicious pasta. A little fun fact, or maybe not super fun, I tried coming here last weekend for lunch, but they hadn't updated their, their weekend hours yet, so on the weekend they're only open for dinner. So I figure come back for dinner this time. Because it's a nice evening, so let's go get some delicious pasta. All right, so here inside, and got a lot of, lot of seating here in the dining area. Nice dining area, too. There's even some spots outside, too. But yeah, can't wait to have some pasta. But of course, don't forget, got to mention about their, about the uh, Luigi's house salad and also their bread. Their bread is absolutely amazing. I had that off camera. Dip that in some olive oil. Mm-mm. So good. But the main course here, I got their one of their signature pastas, the lobster ravioli. Got some delicious ravioli with some, got some tasty sauce, and of course, the lobster inside. There you go, yeah. <laughs> Let's dig in. Mm. 
Mm. You know, like, mm. This is this is rich and tasty. Oh, here's what it looks like inside. This is the this is delicious. Tell the ravioli is homemade too. So glad so glad you guys picked for me to go to this restaurant because it was fantastic here. All right, because I love pasta more than anything. Well, <laughs> well, you know what I mean. I'm gonna, I want to eat the rest of this off camera now, so I'll see you back outside. Thank you guys again for picking this restaurant because that food was amazing. I'll have to come back and get some more delicious Italian food. And the people sitting in the booth in front of me, they were getting one of their pizzas, and their pizzas look really good too. I almost have to come back to get either a pizza or a calzone or something. Amazing food, yeah. So if you're looking for some great Italian food, with, with great friendly service, definitely check out Luigi's Trattoria Pizzeria here in Livonia, here on Plymouth Road. But there is one more restaurant we're gonna be covering in this restaurant tour, so don't go anywhere. And we're here in Western Oakland County to conclude this restaurant tour where I've had you guys on Instagram pick the restaurants for me to go to out of the select few of choices. So this time we are here in Highland Township off Milford Road and we are here at Comeback Inn. It's a nice restaurant with a lot of great food. I've been here before as a matter of fact so it's not the first time I'm coming here but I've had really good fish and chips here so I'm really excited to go inside and get some delicious fish and chips. All right, here inside, and got a really nice interior in here. I really like all the all the bicycles hanging from the ceiling. Really cool decor. Almost like when I was, saw all those surfboards and license plates at Hodad's when I went to San Diego last month. But a lot of great food, and as I was boasting about outside, of course they got some really good fish and chips, and that's exactly what I'm getting. Got some fried cod, of course some fries. Really good tartar sauce and of course the Scott Man Classic coleslaw, which I haven't had on video in a while. So let's dig, let's dig into the Scott Man Classic. Mm -mm. Nice and creamy, but not too overwhelming. Really good. Ooh, fries look good too. Lots of great seasoning on this. Just right amount of salt, amazing fries. All right, time to time to dig into the. This might be a little hot, so I gotta be a little careful. All right, so but yeah, this is really hot. Dip some into this coleslaw here. Try to be very careful. I don't burn my tongue here. <laughs> Which is pretty good, I have to say. Not too chewy or anything, so it could, could be just right. And it's not really all that greasy, too. But it probably helps that there's a piece of lettuce underneath it to catch any any grease that could be on it. But yeah, this fish is amazing. Bip, come back in, has a lot of great food. They used to have a turkey Reuben there I've gotten a long time ago, but it's not on the menu anymore. They do got a regular Reuben, though. But that's okay, but yeah. What's really, really good fish and chips, so definitely check out Come Back In. All right, so I had such a great time checking out four different restaurants around Metro Detroit, thanks to you guys. Uh, so, because yeah, what I did on Instagram, as I was saying at the beginning of the video, I gave my Instagram followers and my stories four different questions, for, and I had you guys pick which restaurant out of the four to go to. I got a choice of three per question. <clears throat> But yeah, this is a lot of fun. That way you guys get to pick my adventure <laughs> as, you can, as you can see. But you guys picked very well because I enjoyed all four restaurants. I might have to do this again at some point too. So yeah, make sure you're following my Instagram, which is it's, it's just, it's the same plug as my YouTube channel. It's, it's just scottman895 on Instagram. And I'll even post stories of my adventures. And you never know, stories I might post on my Instagram might be future videos. So if you want to sneak peek at future videos, definitely follow me on Instagram. All right, well, thanks for watching this restaurant tour around Metro Detroit. Thanks to you guys. So if you enjoyed this video, be sure to click that subscribe button to uh, come along and enjoy for the venture. And uh, don't
don't forget to click that notification bell so that way you know when a new video goes live. Well, thank you for watching, and this is Scott with the Scott Man Sayo here from Highland Township, Michigan.